So Sydney, I had a nine hour layover in Sydney, Australia, down under. Down under. Down under. And I didn't know you needed a visa if you're staying <laughs> in Australia for longer than eight hours. How specific is that? Is that weird? Whether you are transiting through the airport or not, whether you leave the airport or not, they don't care what you do with your time. If you are on the ground in Australia for longer than eight hours, you need a visa, right? So um, now I was told this. <laughs> I should have done my research. This is why we gave you guys so many, so much research, pre-flight, et cetera. Um, there, I was told this once I got to my Qantas gate checking counter at X in the international terminal. There was one visa that I was pushed to get by the gate agent for my flight. It's called the ETA, Electronic Travel Authority. It allows you to enter and leave Australia as many times as you want in a 12-month period and each time you can stay for up to three months uh, there's no charge for that visa but you do have to apply through the australian eta app and that costs 20 australian dollars or 15 us dollars so when i booked my flights to bali this was on the way to bali i had both sydney australia layovers each way and uh, the first layover there was nine hours in total. This, the layover coming back was about six hours. So I knew I was going to leave the airport on the first one. On the second one, I knew I was going to stay in and enjoy the lounges. So quick little story about getting this visa. I rock up to the Qantas counter at LAX and he's like, okay, great. Where's your visa? And I'm like, what do you mean? I don't need a visa for Australia. And he's like, uh, yes, you do, especially because your layover is l too long. And I was like, oh, my God, freaking out. And, of course, me being, like, trying to be the smart traveler, I got to the checkout counter five minutes – I mean, sorry, five hours early. Five hours early. Not three hours. I got there five hours early. So it was actually one of the first in line, and huge lines started forming behind me. And I was freaking out. And I'm like, oh, my God, oh, my God. He's like – he was being – trying to be calm. He's like, just move to the side for a few minutes, apply for the visa, and come back when you're ready. You can jump back in line. And I'm like, well, how long does it take to get approved? And he's like, uh, anywhere from – um, two to 24 hours i'm like homie i leave in t in five hours so i step aside apply through everything luckily everything's working everything's smooth i had all my information pay the 15 us dollars praise baby jesus and buddha and whoever you want to pray to i was approved in 10 minutes so i jump back in line show homie my visa cool approved done on my way to australia we go so when I get there, I had to lock up my bag and bag storage. They had it in the Sydney airport. That's fine. I took a taxi just to get out to this cute little brunch place. I had a great, great old grand time by myself for like two hours. Enjoy. It was Sunday brunch time. So it was popping. It was yeah. popping. There were people everywhere. I had my glass of rosé. I had my yummy meal. Enjoyed this, the Sydney sun. Even though it was winter, it was still sunny. I brought the sunshine from California. And then after my lovely two-hour brunch, I just... Took a taxi or an Uber back to the Sydney airport. I think I maybe had like 30 minutes to pop into the lounge. It was called the house, the lounge that I went into and like grabbed a coffee, grabbed another little cheeky Bev. And then I was on my way to Bali. Cheeky Bev. And that was it. It was actually super easy besides not knowing the fact that I needed a uh, visa beforehand, which could have been easily prevented if I had just like Googled, you know. <laughs> but other than that, it was it was awesome.